Hello everyone, it's Jan. Uh, today we will be looking over stock buys and sells from 13 January of 2023. CNBC closing bell guest expert Kevin Simpson from Capital Wealth Planning for January 2023. <clears throat> um, Kevin Simpson and Capital Wealth Planning purchased Amgen, Apple, Nucor, Schlumberger, and then they sold Merck, right? And uh, these stocks, they reside in the healthcare technology and basic materials sectors. As a mind, reminder to everyone, we don't know exactly when the trades occurred, okay? Um, we are just looking at where they stood 30 December of 2023 and analyzing them for January. Now, I do not trade individual stocks. I trade ETFs and CEFs. If you plan to play the individual stock picking game, prick proven and consistent companies. Kevin Simpson and Capital Wealth say these are. Uh, they can do all the fundamental analysis, but you decide. I keep it simple. I follow price and momentum. And if you follow this methodology, you'll lower your risk and increase your chances of making money. So let's hit the charts, right? <clears throat> First, I look at momentum for the last three months leading into the monthly close, September 30th through December 30th for January buying opportunities. Now, I am looking for positive gains in SPY, which is the proxy for the S&P 500, the sector, and lastly, the stock. Now, anything below the zero line is a no-go. So both Amgen and Merck fall under healthcare sector, so I use XLV, the healthcare select select uh, sector spider fund for analysis apple it falls under the technology sector so i use sl xlk technology select sector spider fund for analysis and nucor follows under the basic materials sector so i use xlb the material select sector spider fund for analysis right <clears throat> so taking a look at this we've got positive momentum going on in the uh, spy so that's a go uh, xlv go amgen go merc go Technology, go. Apple, no go. So our analysis of Apple stops here. Done. Okay. Uh, materials, <clears throat> looking good. And so is Nucor. Look at these gains, folks. Wow, man. That's awesome. Anyway, so <clears throat> let's move forward. Next thing I'm going to do is look for bullish technical confirmation because positive momentum is not enough on this channel. I want closes above the 200 SMA. Um, it is simple, but it is also effective. It's very robust. Okay, so SPY, take a look at that. I'm looking for a close above the 200 SMA on the last trading day of the month, and we don't get it. So just to be clear, moving forward, I would not be involved in any of this. Even if I was trading um, equities, I wouldn't be involved in any of these going forward. This would be my stopping point because I would be moving forward. If you take a look at my other video, you'll see that I live it, man. I'm not trading equities. I'm in municipal bonds right now. I'm in an MUB ETF, right? And I have some income producing uh, uh, CEFs, right? So I'm not trading individual equities um, based on this, my rule, right? So I am out. Um, until we get a close above the 200 in SPY, I'm completely out of any kind of equities or anything like that, or SPY itself, right? Okay, now... <clears throat> Let's go on, though. Let's move on because maybe we do sector analysis. Maybe we're those kind of folks. So I want to show those folks what's going on here. It wouldn't make for a very good video if I got stuck here anyway, right? So let's go to XLV, which is the healthcare ETF. Uh, you know, I'm looking for a close above the 200 SMA on the last trading day of the month. And what do I do? I got it, right? So that's good. So let's take a look at the stocks on these. Amgen, close above the 200. Okay, so that's a go. That is a go um, if I were trading um, based on sector, right? Okay. Now, Merck was a sell for these guys, right? And look at that run, man. I get it. He didn't say he sold all of his position, okay? He did say he was lightening his position. So, But be clear, he sold right here. If I was in this position, if I was in this position, I wouldn't be selling this at all until I got a close in my sector below the 200. Um yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I would have bought quite a while, uh, probably back in, um, if you look at the charts, I, you know, I didn't rewind completely, but probably back in November is when I was in on this one, if I was trading this. So, you know, I'd be, be okay in the profits and that's the rule. So I would have stayed in here. <coughs> um, I wouldn't have sold, but I get it, man. Especially these guys bought down here in this base, Whew. you know, anyway, so moving on, uh, XLB, which is the, uh, materials select spider. Uh, you know, it closed below the 200. So I would be out here 
also okay so based on the sector yeah it was positive but the stock not so positive or the sector was closed below and um, you know so I would have had a stopping point here also for XLB and for Nucor but let's go ahead and take a look at the chart anyway yeah you know I mean look at this it's real close too right so uh, you know I this wouldn't have even been a judgment right for me because again I would have been out based on a close below the 200 on the sector and now we have a real close close on it's like almost on the line of the 200 in in the stock itself so now nah, I'm I, I would be out of this okay so to recap uh, to recap guys uh, we pick quality stocks only right you always want to consider only quality stocks right <clears throat> um, just because these guys say they are doesn't mean that they are right I use them as a shortcut so that you could take a look at uh, some quality companies what they consider quality companies people that are trusted you know with this money so I'm not doing fundamental analysis man I've, I haven't done that stuff in a really really long time and I don't care to do it okay but anyway if you're going to do anything that I'm showing you here you need to pick quality companies that's why you'll see a lot of my videos involve dividend aristocrats okay stuff like that now to recap again relative three-month performance has to be above the zero line the S&P 500, the sector, the stock, and the monthly close, they all have to be over the 200 SMA. We're going to be buying that first trading day or the week following that close, right? And if you want to sell it, we're selling at a close below the 200 SMA on the S&P 500. If you're trading sectors, okay, if you're a sector strength trader, then, um, you know, you could be getting, you could be trading for a close below the 200 SMA on the sector, versus the S&P 500, okay? Uh, I'm typically going to go, I'm going to stay in it no matter what happens to the sector, no matter what happens to the stock, until there's a close on the S&P 500 below the 200 SMA, right? Anyway, so is it a go or a no-go? They're all no-go for me because they failed my initial technical test, right? SPY is under the 200, but if you're a sector strength trader, uh, you most definitely may be interested in Amgen and Nucor uh, for a buy based on sector and stock strength and monthly close. Now, I saw, you know, if you saw something and if you were astute on this, you noticed that Merck was actually a buy too, right, going into the month. But, man, um, you know, that that's a little, if you take a look at that, man, that, that sucker's run. Doesn't mean it won't keep running, okay, but you got to think about things like the greater full theory, right? Like, oh, yeah, okay, well, I buy now. You know, uh, who's going to buy that sucker for me later? Anyway, you know, you may want to take something like that, go back into that sector and do an analysis of other pharmaceuticals and see if there's something that's 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 a late, you know, that that's picking up late, you know, versus a Merck. Right. You look at something that goes, hey, you know what? It hasn't caught up to Merck. Right. Uh, then we make a, a move into that company if you're looking at something like that. Again, that's beyond the scope of what we're talking about here today, but it's just something for you to be thinking about. Uh, if you follow my strict rules and are still interested in these companies, you wait until next month and then you check it out again. All right. So thanks for watching. Take a look at my other analysis videos and my portfolio dates, uh, updates and cash flow comes to you.